Anna, my daughter. The year we spent on the road gave me time to think about things. Respect, responsibilities, duties. They all mean nothing compared to what's important. My family, you. I'm sorry, I only got it now. I'll go through this snow-covered graveyard with a sieve, if that's what it takes to find the cure. As for Artyom, he feels his guilt. He wants to atone. I'll just have to see that atonement doesn't cost him his life. The important part is that I'm back in Metro, and no mutant can stop me here. Radiation on the surface is different, though. Frankly, I thought I was buying a one-way ticket for myself going in. You said you were close, but why do you need the Institute? You are persistent. We're on a mission, but that's all I can tell. But now, thanks to the green stuff given to us by Kirill, we both have a chance to achieve the goal and survive. So, Private, Artyom left. I'd better get ready to set out, too. What about me, Colonel, sir? You'll stay here. I'm putting you in charge of communications. I need someone to coordinate the operation. Can you handle the responsibility? Yes, sir. I can. Good. Uh, by the way, Private, how did you live here before the riots, when there was still enough green stuff to go around? Uh, we did all right. But my dad was always out on a mission or a patrol. So you barely saw him? Oh, no. Dad did his best to come home earlier, especially on the holidays. We even spent the last New Year's together. Colonel, sir, the maintenance guys asked to remind you to burn all the slime around the ponds once you reach them. Uh oh, I say the slime is done for. Colonel Klepnikov himself is taking up the flamethrower. <laughs> Don't jinx it. As for flamethrower, where is it? Here you go, Colonel, sir. Mind you, it's quite heavy. I know. Is it pressurized? Should be, but I'd still check. The handle's on the side. Give it a pump or two if needed. Ah, uh, if you want something done, you have to do it yourself. <laughs> All right, I'm off. Give Slime some hell, too. We'll do just that, sir. We certainly will. Break a leg. Break both. Oh, thanks. to all groups. I just saw a fully grown worm, so watch out. Older, red one here. Roger that. Red two, roger. Red three, roger that, sir. Good.
We're gonna need some explosives. Red 3, you don't need explosives. Just find the valve that stops the water flow. Roger that, Alder. Alder, Red 3 here. I found the valve and it's receiving a flame.
Hello, sir. How is it going on your side? Everything fine? Yes, pretty much. What's up with you? My flamer won't hold the pressure. And I can't find a leak for the life of me. Do you have any spare fuel? I didn't expect that shit to grow so thick here. Of course I do, sir. Help yourself. Here. Nice. Thank you. I heard helping the commanding officers is good for your career. Also, that ship did grow like crazy. Ah, I think I got it. <laughs> I really did. All right, I'll go catch up with the guys. Good hunting, sir. You too.
give a fuck. Can you imagine such an asshole? And I just go, so, are you telling me to steal him from another station? You know as well as I do, they don't make them no more. Or, or do you think I'll just shoot all my green stuff at once and go topside to get it? You want results? You either get me the parts or go... Uh, well, I told him to fuck himself. So he just turns all red and shouts, No green stuff for you this month. And I go, really? Then I'm doing no work this month. Fix the pumps yourself, you asshole. So...
just had maintenance on the line. They say the water is blowing again. They are sending a team to handle the rest. Mission complete. Great. Thank you. Sir, we're mission accomplished. At ease, gentlemen. You did a great job there. Thank you, Colonel, sir. Frankly, we were on sweep-up duty after you, sir. Ah, cut that. Sweep-up duty. Sure. <laughs> on behalf of OSCOM, I'm issuing an official commendation. We serve OSCOM. <laughs> great. We'll get out of those suits and go rest. Certainly, sir. Thank you, sir. Sir, take that suit off and put the flamer down, please. They have to be scrubbed for radiation. You'll also be getting a shot of green stuff at the checkpoint. I'll call them. You just took a week's worth of exposure, at least. Good. Thank you. Right. Here. Thank you, and goodbye, Colonel Sir. Come aboard, Colonel Sir. Thank you. Hey, guys, get aboard. We give you lift to prospect. Thank you, sir, but we're waiting for the transport from HQ. There's enough space for everyone. Good luck, then. Let's go, Petrovich. Yes, sir. <laughs> Roll up your sleeve, please. We've got to give you the shot. Here you go. Roll your sleeve up, Petrovich. You get a shot, too. Hey, ah, uh, uh, no. Please, I'd rather use my own injector at home. Be my guest, then. Thank you. Uh, don't lean on the doors, please. Next station is Krasne Prospect. <laughs> Granddaughter getting worse? No, thank God. Still, standard child's allowance of green stuff is not enough for her, even though we move to the prospect. So I'm squirreling away whatever I can, just in case. It's not easy, but we survive, and that's what counts. Yeah, but enough about us. <laughs> Tell me if you roasted that shit good. That we did, Petrovich. That we did. Ha! <laughs> uh, my friend, that is good to hear. Still, it will just grow even thicker next time. Like it always does. I see the pumps are failing. It's because of that slime. And they've been working non-stop for 20 years. Ah, uh, and now this shit. The filters get clogged, the O-rings, they burst, the iron rusts. 
As soon the old counter flooding system will give up the ghost, and we'll have to row boats here. <laughs> You'd make a good gondolier. <laughs> I can sing too! Please, spare me, your singing is an atrocity. ceremony will be waiting for you and Kirill to drop by as usual we'll be there Colonel sir Colonel sir Colonel sir please proceed the general is expecting me your excuses captain if you take the initiative to do something you must be ready to see the thing you started to the end dismissed Sir, yes, sir! Oh, Slava! I've been waiting for you. Come on in. Make yourself comfy. There's been a new development here while you are out barbecuing. Take a look at these maps. Background radiation? Yes. Stalkers brought this in from the SATCOM center. And now, I want your people to go there and find the fresh ones. Detailing the whole country, so that we know where to go. Take this under personal control, and ensure complete secrecy. Okay? Go, Tolia. Cut to the chase. Are we preparing an evacuation? All right. This is strictly between us, mind you. Yes. We can't delay any longer. We're out of green stuff. We'll have to resort to confiscations, so everything must stay under wraps for now. Why the secrecy? It's good news. People would donate their stock voluntarily if we told them. Not my decision, Slava. Still, sometimes it makes sense to save the good news for last. I see. Thanks for telling me. Remember, it's between us. You know me. Well, Happy New Year! Uh, wait a second. better get home now. As a hero of the war on slime and a lone father, you are hereby granted a New Year's present from the command. A one-month allowance for two. <laughs> Thanks. I won't hold you any longer, unless... How about some tea? <sighs> you do know how to keep a man away from his family. <laughs> how is Seryoga doing? <laughs> Full of himself, obviously. Just think about it. My son is a captain now. I never raised a finger for that. Can you believe that? Of course I can. That's just typically you. I believe he must achieve everything himself. It builds character. Oh, it definitely does. He used to be on the soft side, like his mom. He really toughened up now. You were always hard on him, almost too hard. I could never be like that. Actually, and I speak as someone who's been watching you too, I think you're doing amazingly well. He's growing up a real man, an OSCOM fighter. <laughs> yes, he is a huge fan of all things Oscom. We're like superheroes in his eyes. A bit chilling, actually. But we are heroes. We're saving who we can, and it's all for our children's sake. What could be chilling in that? <laughs> he still doesn't understand many things, and idealizes us. Thinks we are knights without fear and beyond reproach, but real life is... complicated. You must do certain things. And then look into his eyes thinking, would he understand if I told him about that? And that day will come. Kirill is a real man. He will understand. A real hero, Slava, isn't someone flexing his muscles and wearing shiny armor. A hero is someone who does what needs to be done. He may get splashed with dirt, even blood sometimes, but he still does the thing because it is necessary. Understanding this makes a man a man. Mm, maybe. But it's quite close to the ends justify the means from there, though. Oh, come on. Such a soppy load of crap. 
Oh, the ends justify the means. You can't say that. Those are bad, bad words. Shame on you. Our philosophy, Professor Maria Ivanovna told us that. But I say they do. How else would you achieve anything? You sacrifice something to get somewhere. Did this ever work differently? Do they always? All right. You got me there. You're right. That's how you achieve things. But I always thought that it was a question of sincerity. If they do or not. Being sincere with yourself first and foremost. <laughs> that was deep. Philosophical-like. I bet you took Maria Ivanovna's advanced course, too. <laughs> uh, well, I think I'll get going now. Yes, Slava, I'm sorry I kept you here. Go, go see your son. Give my regards to Kirill and a happy new year. I'll be working on my speech in the meantime. Colonel, sir. Hello, Colonel, sir. A happy new year to you. You filthy drunkard! Just look at yourself, you pig! A brass! Got it. We are celebrating here. Come join us, sir. Carry on. I'm going home. Happy new year. Thank you, Colonel, sir. Give our regards to Kirill. Thank you. Happy new year, sir. By the way, it's been a while since I last saw Sasha from the third company. Do you know that? Happy New Year, Colonel Klebnikov. Same to you, Misha. Look, one day we are going to go outside, are we not? <laughs> I bet you didn't expect an ambush here. <laughs> <laughs> Great disguise, Private. Though I must ask, where is your citrap? Oh! The mission of helping prepare the celebration is almost accomplished. There's just one light bulb remaining, sir. At ease, Private. I'll help you. Happy New Year, Dad. I didn't think you'd make it in time. You were late for my birthday. And Mom's anniversary, too. You see... I was just doing my best to make sure there were as few sad anniversaries in other families as possible. Oh, I understand. Good to hear that. Now, turn it on. Mission accomplished. Good job, Private. Thank you. Oh, Dad, I have something for you. Here, Petrovich helped me fix it. Oh, thank you, son. Speaking of Petrovich, as soon as the official celebration is over, all personnel are to wash their faces and arrive at Petrovich's place wearing dress uniform. Yay! Arrive at Petrovich's clean face and dress uniform. Roger that, Corona, sir. Wow, the tree is so beautiful. Yes, listen. Dear citizens of Krasny Prospect and our guests from other stations. Year 2034 is almost over. It wasn't an easy year. But all the hardship only served to make us close our ranks around our common goal. The well-being of everyone living down here in the tunnels. We are all looking forward to the coming year. Expecting change for the better and it is sure to arrive to our concerted effort as a community. On behalf of OSCOM leadership, I thank you all for your good work and wish you a Happy New Year! Happy 2035! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one! Happy New Year! What the? This sucks a damn generator.
guns out again. Kirill, Miller here. Comms check. Do you read me? Over. Reading you loud and clear, Colonel. Over. Kirill, I'm at the trading stalls. Where's that passage to Sibirskaya? It's downstairs. Most of HQ used to be there. They brought the green stuff they took from the people there. I see. Confiscations. Found it! Thank you, Private. to remain calm. Voluntarily submit your stocks of radio protector to the authority. Remember, our common duty is to stand together and ensure the common good of all the citizenry. May I, General? Sir. Not funny, Slava, and I'm not in the mood for jokes. What's up at Sibirskaya? We're all done there, and this is what we got. It's not much. This is bad. We're in the middle of a fallout spot, and we'll have to roast for 500 clicks at the very least. Your guys brought a bunch of maps, but there are no really safe areas on any of them. I had hopes for Lake Baikal, but... Still looking for Baikal. The archive is trashed. As for the radiation, that's what the filters are for. Keeping the dust out. Filters. All the carriages are so radioactive, no filters will help us without the green stuff. There will be children, too. You have a son yourself, so you know children need more. I know. Do we have enough? Not for everyone at once. First we'll evacuate the core people, prepare clean rolling stock, and then bring everybody else out. So you mean we're going to split people into sorts? The ones we say first, and then the rest... You know what's trains? at stake. Our children, among all else. What's there to discuss? <laughs> Didn't expect that from you, of all people. Think about Kirill. I, for one, thought about him. You two will be leaving with the first train. So don't fail me now. Just forget it all and take a break. Your people can handle the prospect by themselves. All right. <sighs> I want another smoke. How about you? Don't mind if I do. Help yourself then. <sighs> it's been a while since I had smokes like this. The dirty stations are crawling with troublemakers. You know the sort. They've been rambling about doing away with the regime and starting a new life. And they're going to catch the day. Exactly. As soon as it becomes known that we've no green stuff left, and then the rumors of evacuation start. And they will. Naturally. Exaggerated ones at that. The leadership is running away, abandoning the common folk. A chance they won't miss. Well, you understand it all. We'll uphold order for as long as we can. God save us from a full-blown uprising. Still, God favors the prepared. Keep your weapon ready, Slava. We're in for one bumpy ride. <sighs> yes, this is going to get ugly. But we don't have a choice in this. Either we save who we can, or we descend into chaos and all die. So if you do have to shoot, look at this as a war on leaving the dead. Each rioter is an animated corpse trying to drag us into its grave. A cynical view. Cynical, but realistic. But Toby doesn't go that far. Are your people ready to do their part? Well, those who weren't all dropped out years ago. What's your take on the others? I'm not sure about some of them. We'll start quietly disbanding and disarming their units. You are risking splashing fuel on the embers. What else can I do? Damned if I do and if I don't. True enough. You know, I do feel drained. I guess I'll excuse myself. Of course. 
Have some rest while you still have a chance. I fear you haven't got long. And Slava, take care. So, what did he say? Well, he said they understand our predicament and they value our contribution and cooperation a lot. And as soon as they get a hold of the new stock, we will be reimbursed fully and with interest. Hello, sir. You come oh, the green stock! You get us nothing! How can you do this to us? Come on, you do something! Please, come on! Tell them to stop handing it out! We can't wait anymore! My children are sick! Give some for them! Step aside! Let us through! Step away! Colonel, sir, permission to address. What the hell is with you? Granted. An anonymous tip on excess stock. We can't ignore those, but he won't open the door. I see. Let's go. Oh my god. Hey, I feel like you like me a lot. What were you talking I just remembered the new year. Didn't we have a drink right over here? Here! You remember? Come over here, sir! Of course I do! Young Grisha definitely had too much that night. Open up, Petrovich! Slava! Uh, come in. Thanks. Follow me. Mikhail Petrovich, you know why we are here. I suggest you donate your excess stock voluntarily, or there will be trouble. Akin? You know I can't do that. It is for my granddaughter. I have been saving from my own allowance. I can't do anything. We had a tip about your stock and had to react to that. Commence the search. Check there. Oh, this is so unfair. I earned this. Saved my wages. I know, but it we was followed earned the rules. Honestly. I found the and cash. You know it. He does have some. I can't Not too much here, though. My granddaughter is sick. She needs that. Sure, your granddaughter. I bet it's going to the market. Colonel, tell them, please. You know it's true. Enough. We're only confiscating the excess stock. But, sir, I will have to report everything. Take this to HQ and report that stopping the search was my decision. Yes, sir. Look, I'm, I'm sorry. I know you didn't have a choice. Thanks for leaving me some. I'm sorry too. You were right about choice though. Nobody had it. I'll be going now. <sighs> Thank no you. Incident. Thank you, Slava. Enough is enough. Your quota wasn't conjured out of thin air. It was calculated properly. And you're short. Pay the rest. Look, officer, think about it. Where am I supposed to get so much? You took all the green stuff from the people, the trade is dead, and you saddle me with a coat of fit for a moment. Come, open up. Ah, hello there, Private. I'm completely drained. Kirill? Hmm. All right, Private. Tell me what's going on. Nothing. I just don't want. You don't want what? To be a private! And I don't want to be an Oscom anymore! Right. Please, elaborate on that. I went to see Biraskaya, and I saw the soldiers taking green stuff from people. I mean, one traitor, when I give it to them, started shouting. They beat them up, and took all the green stuff anyway. Well, this is just unacceptable. First thing tomorrow, I'm going to get their names. You said Oscom protects people, but you just take their green stuff away. Why? It's not easy. We're short on green stuff. 
That's why we must take from those who have lots of it and give to those who don't have enough. Or else the rich would just sit on their stock while the poor would all die. Could you call that fair? Not at all. Of course I couldn't call that fair. Right. Of course those who we take from aren't happy, but there's no other way, you see? Yeah, if I had all my green stuff taken, I wouldn't be happy about that. But I understand now. Good. Still those soldiers were wrong. I'll make sure they are punished and then they'll have to go and apologize. Yes, make them! They must apologize! Great. Speaking of green stuff, it's time we gave you a shot, so give me your arm. All right. Done. Kirill, Mueller here. Do you read? Over. I read you, Colonel. There's some static. Over. I hear static too. I'm entering Sibirskaya. Was this where the last battle happened? Over. Yes. I only know of it from Father's words. Right before the rioters started their last attack, we had to talk. Do you really have to go? You didn't rest at all. The rioters are advancing. There's no time for rest. Rioters? Tell me that. If we, Oscom, are protecting people, why lie to them? Wow. You've grown up, Private. And I'm none the wiser. So let's have a grown-up talk. Should we tell the truth? Of course. But life is a complex thing. In the hands of our enemies, truth may be dangerous. We must carefully choose who we can entrust with it, and who we cannot. The command sees the whole picture, and makes decisions. However unpleasant those decisions might be sometimes, they are still necessary. The command thinks about everyone, while the civilians only think about themselves. That is why the truth that might scare them, must be kept secret, for their own good. Do you understand that? I do, but still... This is a scary way of thinking. There are a lot of scary things in life. Yet, I brought you up well. You are strong and brave. You can take it. All right, time to go. You get home and don't step out or let anyone in until I'm back. It's an order. Yes, Colonel, sir. Sergeant, walk him home. Yes, sir. Let's go, Kirill. All right. Good luck, Dad. Good luck, son. Sorry about that. I know you had no choice. 
Had I said nothing, they would have never believed they found the door. the bridge. Neither I nor you had a choice in this, Petrovich. Good luck to you two. See you on the train. Thank you. Hello, Colonel, sir. Glad to see you back. Defenses. Yes, sir.
Come in, HQ. Klemnikov here. HQ here. One charge didn't work. Damn. Fall back to Sibirskaya and stop them here. I've got no one else to rely on. Roger that. Over and out. It's either us or them! We'll get them all! We'll, the we'll get them some! Let them come! We're ready! Operation successful. Pawns are all dealt with. Ready for evacuation. You fucker. 
What do you mean? Already left. <laughs> what? What's going on? Recovering evacuation. Evacuation? But you just killed everyone! Soldiers! Civilians! Nobody left to evacuate! Slava! There's only enough green stuff left to evacuate the leadership! Everyone else is doomed! Gas was used just to cut the agony short. So you knew it! You knew it all along, you motherfucker! <coughs> Did I have a choice? What difference does it make now? They made a mistake leaving me at all. Petrov! Petrov! The fuckers left without us! Get Seryoga on the line now! What? Dead? Seryoga? Son? Now listen to me. There's an RPG in the gun cabinet. Get it and rush to the old crossroads. Blow the fuckers up there! Go! So... What do we do now? <laughs> Whatever. I had enough. <coughs> so long, Slava. <coughs> Uncle Tolia? Did he just kill himself? Why? Don't look there. I'm sorry I broke your order. There was a shooting at the station. Then it all went quiet. And he didn't come. I was worried. And I went looking for you. Listen. I told you earlier. Who should be told the truth and who should not? Forget it. It's not for us to decide. And if you're being fooled, it's never for your own good. That's why he's dead. I... I understand. Good. And now... Let's go home, son. I'm at the bunker entrance. Hurry up, Colonel. You'll be off the grid inside, so please, be careful. I will, Kirill. Miller, over and out. Pine, this is Older. Come in, Over. Older, this is Pine. Speak, Over. Private. I'm at the bunker's door. I'll be off the grid while I'm down there. Don't know how long. When is the next scheduled radio contact? Keep me sharp, Drano. The battery? Keeping it charged. The door? Closed. I'm eating the liver too. And burning the slime, and I don't go to the thirsty stations ever. Dad, you want the whole cheat sheet for me. I'm reading off it now. You do just that. Reading helps you remember. That's all, Pine. I'm going offline. Roger that, Elder. Over and out. Pine. Come in, over. Pioneer, over. I love you, son. A whole lot. Uh, I love you too, Dad. And I want you to eat that liver without fail, over and out.
XCOM soldiers. You have accepted a mission of absolute secrecy and utmost importance. To recover a map of a region with tolerable levels of radioactive pollution from the Satellite Communication Center's archive. Circumstantial data suggests that special attention must be paid to maps detailing linked by Gal. So far, our efforts have been consistent with proving fruitless. But now, you must be successful, no matter the cost. I can disclose the ultimate goal of this search at the moment, but I'll have you know that the lives of all the metro dwellers depend on it. This day will self-destruct in five seconds. Good luck, gentlemen. to evacuate the complex immediately.
complex immediately. Reactor containment failure. Reserve power engaged. All personnel are to evacuate the complex immediately. Reboot 
preparation is. Forty percent complete. System reboot preparation is. Sixty percent complete. System will reboot now.
Of rest. I'm just so tired.
There you are, brother. You found the maps and took a break, I see. I need a breather, too. Boy, did these hunks of iron chief. Gotta watch out not to stay for too long, though. Your son sent me here, told where to look. He's tough, your Kirill. Yes, I can see his effort. <laughs> Children, it's always about them. I'm here because of my daughter. She's smart, strong, kind, beautiful. I can't even tell you how proud I am of her and how much I love her. I'm trying to be a father, but end up a colonel. It's as if by showing affection, I'd also show my vulnerability. Not just to her, to her husband, too. At first, I even thought that boy was all right. But his obsession with truth started driving me mad. He kept risking his life while he had the love of the best woman in the world. Decent people want normal things, a thicker broth, a warm place to call home, and healthy children. But he wants truth. Let me glance at those maps. Boy, was I mad at him. But then I took a closer look at the world and re-examined my life up to that point somewhat. Especially when I heard your story. I saw my past self in you, friend. We both served the great lie, because we both made ourselves believe it was necessary. And if not for him, I would have ended up like you did. But now, finally, my life has a real purpose for a change. All because I can finally look the truth in the eye. I think you understand. Thank you for the maps. Don't think it was all in vain. You saved us all. And Kirill? I'll give him this watch and make sure he gets out of this hellhole. You have my word. Well, it's time. Farewell, Colonel Klipnikov. Rest easy. Artyom, stay with me! Hold on! Son...